Hey guys, I'm Theo. Welcome back to another Ganshin video. In this video, I will explain the most frequently asked question about Ye Miko. Should I build attack? Or elemental mastery? Hit the subscribe button, and I will show you the answer. Without further ado, let's jump right in. I will show you two different builds for Ye Miko. One with higher attack and zero elemental mastery. Another one with lower attack and 300 elemental mastery. The first build is using two-piece gladiator and two-piece shimanawa set. The second build is using two-piece wanderers and two-piece gladiator set. I tried my best to keep the crit ratios equal for a fair comparison. Both builds have the same electro damage bonus from the goblet. My Ye Miko is Constellation 0, and she is using the Kagura's Verity. Her talents level are 6, 6, 8. Now, let us visit our punching bag plant and compare the damage between these two builds. So, as you can see, the Elemental Mastery build has a slightly lower elemental skill damage compared to the attack build. You can notice a much higher difference on her burst damage. In short, for Ye Miko's raw damage potential, attack build is generally better in terms of damage output for both her elemental skill and her burst. Let's see what happens when we buff Ye Miko's attack. Now, the elemental skill damage from elemental mastery build has improved, but it is still slightly lower than the attack build. However, the burst damage from attack build is way higher than the elemental mastery build. So, the winner of this match is still the attack build. So, for my final thoughts, attack build is the better overall build. Elemental mastery build is good, but it is conditional. If you aim for higher elemental mastery, you will sacrifice other more important stats like crit, attack and energy recharge. That is why it is better to get elemental mastery boost from party members, rather than building elemental mastery on Ye Miko. Another important thing to note is that her elemental skill does not snap shot. So it is not recommended to focus on only her elemental skill damage, because you might end up losing a huge chunk of damage from her burst. Lastly, this comparison doesn't take into account of reaction damage, because it solely depends on your team composition. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Consider subscribe to my channel to show me some love and encourage me to produce more useful content. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Peace.